As Bonk became one of the most talked about tokens in late 2023, I thought it might be just about time to dive a bit deeper into meme coins. So the question is, what is driving its incredible growth and how is Bonk different to other dog-based meme tokens? Now first, Bonk, which is a digital currency inspired by dogs and built on the Solana network. Now at the time of shooting, Bonk has risen by almost 200% actually 190 to be precise, in the last 7 days, reaching a new all-time high of 0.0000-3594, and that was recorded on March the 4th, 2024. Now this surge has propelled Bonk's total market value above, and listen to this, 2.2 billion, making it the 49th largest cryptocurrency globally, and the 4th largest among meme coins. So you might ask yourself, what's driving the Bonk price? You see, Bonk's price momentum began surging in October 2023 after the introduction of single-side staking Bonk pools. Now this feature allowed Bonk holders to earn a yield on Bonk without having to deposit a second asset that Bonk would trade against. Usually when you provide liquidity, you would actually use 50% of one coin and 50% of another coin, but now you can purely only provide liquidity and stake bonk tokens. So at that time, users, transaction fees and the number of bonk transactions surged. Other factors in bonk's price momentum have been the announcement on December the 14th, 2023, that blue chip publicly listed exchange Coinbase would be listing the bonk token. Now other meme coins that have a longer history and similar large market caps like Pepe, have been ignored by Coinbase. But with Bonk, the Coinbase effect is clearly evident. Now the listing has boosted the mainstream legitimacy, let's say, of the Bonk token and introduced it to Coinbase's large user base. In addition, Bonk perpetual swap derivatives can be traded on the popular trading platform BitMEX with up to 10 times leverage. Now remember, leverage is you know, is, is a double-edged sword. It's difficult sometimes. You can lose much more than you can afford. However, on the other hand, you can also make higher profits with less investments. Having said that, what it does add is more volatility to the price. So for traders, this might be a more interesting coin to trade within the meme universe. But before we dig deeper into the bonk coin, I want to introduce you to Crypto Never Sleeps. Now, in case you're new to crypto, then let me start off with the obvious. Now it's time to learn something new and really interesting. It might seem complicated at times, but trust me when I say it will be just another step towards success to be among the top 1%. My name is Nico Arachi and I'm the host of the Littlest Crypto Channel on the interweb. So what exactly is Bonk? Well, like Pepe and Doge, Bonk is a meme coin inspired by internet memes jokes and satire. Now meme coins are not designed with a let's say specific use case in mind but rather as an express of humor, creativity and social commentary through a cryptocurrency on the blockchain. Now while Bonk is similar to Doge and Shiba Inu in that, that it features a cute dog as its mascot and logo, it does differ in several ways. Now first, Bonk is built on Solana referred to by some as the Ethereum killer when it was launched. Solana is fast, scalable and low cost, a low cost blockchain platform that supports smart contracts and decentralized applications with more than 400 decentralized applications currently running on the Solana network. Second, Bonk was launched with a massive airdrop on December 25th, 2022 and as a Christmas gift to the Solana community. Now, 50% of the total supply of 100 trillion coins were distributed to Solana users who contributed to the development and growth of the network in some way. Now, this included artists, creators, developers, NFT collectors, and active community members. Third, Bonk's integration with the Solana ecosystem. Now, as Bonk began to gain traction in the market, developers swiftly sought ways to integrate it into DeFi applications and games throughout the ecosystem. 
The Bonk infrastructure has expanded to include a suite of tools within its ecosystem. Bonk's white paper outlines its ambition to become the community coin of Solana. That might be important, the community coin of Solana. Because the project aims to challenge the dominance of predatory venture cap tokens by empowering the wider Solana community. Now the coin is accepted as a payment option for NFTs on several platforms already, such as OpenBook and Orca. It is also used as an incentive for staking NFTs on platforms like Solfarm and Bonk Stake. There is also a Bonk Swap, which is a decentralized exchange operating on the Solana blockchain. And additionally, the Bonk NFT Mint Tracker consolidates an automated inventory of all presently minted NFT collections. Now to date, the Bonk token boasts or the Bonk network boasts over 119 integrations across 10 different blockchain networks. So these collaborations encompass various DeFi and gambling applications as well as payment solutions and social media tipping services. Now the adoption of Bonk continues to increase with over 619,000 holders and listings on 33 different centralized and decentralized exchanges. Now, I don't want to go into too many recent news, but there is one piece of news that I wanted to point out, and that is that Bunk could soon be listed on Revolut's trading platform. So on the proposed partnership, the European fintech firm is set to run a 1.2 million learn and earn campaign to incentivize its users to learn about the cryptocurrency. Now, this is according to a person familiar with the matter, so we don't really know who. However, the campaign is aimed at increasing the bank's user base by 500,000. Now, Revolut currently has 38 million users and operates a banking license in more than 50 countries. So the bank DAO noted that this would only need to capture 1.3% of Revolut users to reach its goal. However, this campaign is still awaiting official approval. However, as we were referring and talking about Revolut, this is truly a traditional, let's say, banking company platform that is really utilizing the blockchain. You're really identifying the migration from traditional to digital. That in itself could be a huge driver for an increased price. Now, before we end, let's look at some future price predictions and what to see what the sentiment is like. And the first one comes from Trading Beasts and they believe we're going to see a high in 2024 of, I'm not going to mention all those zeros in between, so a 41 and a 49 in 2025. Now you got to put four zeros in front of that. The second one comes from digitalcoin.com and they predict that the price will hit 76 in 2024 and 89 in 2025. Now the last price prediction comes from Wallet Investor and they're seeing a high in 2024 of 23 cent and 28 cent in 2025. There are no dots, zeros in front. Gotta check if Betty had that right. So this is it for me. Um, I hope this video gave you some kind of value. Now you might ask yourself, are we invested into bunk now we will start a very small position now hundred dollars uh, and we might do a meme portfolio simply just to track him now we are there's one meme coin that we are specifically looking forward to and that is dot is dead on poker dot but it is fun i would say for the for the amusement we're going to set up this little meme coin portfolio to track what the prices are going, how they're going to develop in the future. It is also kind of, let's say, the entry market for new investors. Maybe not the smartest, but you know, as long as we get lots of new investors in to the cryptocurrency industry ecosystem, you and I, who are already invested, will ultimately benefit from it. Now, that's all I got to say about that. In case this video gave you any kind of, you know, profit or you benefited from it then please do me a favor hit like smash subscribe all them goodies and finally 
don't consider this financial advice because in the end of the day, I don't know shit about crypto. But one thing is sure, Giddy, she loves you. <laughs>